last-minute orders. I'll make sure Santa gets these. Well, what did you ask for? It is a secret. No time for secrets. We're 46 seconds behind schedule. Progress to level B! You asked for a flashlight, right, Madeline? No, a guitar? No, a globe? A jump rope? A train set? You still have time to ask for something else, Madeline. I know, Sylvie, but I will not give up hope. Attention all elves! We must step up production! I repeat, step up production! On to level C! <laughs> We must be heading back to the inn. We have had a long day. In two straight lines, they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. Then, in the middle of the night, Madeline felt a sudden fright. <gasps> Something is not right. She saw a sight she'd not forget. The head elf, who was quite upset. SOS! SOS! Help! She got dressed in a great big hurry to see what caused the elf such worry. What is it, Monsieur Quinn? Step lightly. <gasps> there in the workshop, with the Christmas designs, were twelve sniffly elves in two straight lines. In two straight lines, the elves felt crummy, both in the head and in the tummy. The elves have the flu. You got it. And this is the night before Christmas Eve. I can't possibly meet my schedule. Oh, no. We have entered the Step D phase with only 15 hours and 23 minutes left. Well, it's already done, Monsieur Quinn. Uh, it is. Asia and Australia, check. Ditto North and South America. Africa, Antarctica, check, check. But I'm afraid we still haven't wrapped and sorted the gifts for all the children of Europe. We are missing the entire country of France. <gasps> that is my country! No, oh, it's no use. We'll never get them done. Not only will the children of France have no snow this year, but they will get no Christmas presents. Oh, no! What an unlucky chance. Unfinished were the gifts for France. She woke the girls and told them why. They were not elves, but they could try. There is work to do. Presents to be got and something. Madeline rolled up her sleeve and worked more than you can believe. Jean-Paul wants a new bicycle. Check. Giselle asked for a dictionary. It's no use. We just can't make it. Maybe we should give up. We'll have to cancel Christmas. Oh. The children are waiting for their presents. 
So, as night turned into day, the gifts were ready for Santa's sled. There's a lot of loading to do, Madeline, but I know we can do it. I thought you had given up, Monsieur Queen. Well, you changed my mind about that, Madeline. You and your friends. Now! A sound was heard. A chew, a chew. Monique and Anne had caught the flu. Then Nicole, Danielle, and Lulu too. And soon the rest all felt a chill. Eleven girls were now quite ill. <laughs> <laughs> 